Hey, Wonder Hussy here. Way up in an amazingly beautiful, but very remote part of Northern Nevada. Oh God, it's just beautiful. Headed to these hot springs that someone told me about. I feel like one of my viewers emailed me and tipped me off to this place. And I pinned them on my little map. Like, oh, if I'm ever in that area, I'll go check them out. Well, today is the day that I'm in the area and I'm gonna check them out. I drove as far as I could on a pretty gnarly road that, I mean, it's dry right now. It hasn't rained in a while and it was pretty beat up. So I'm guessing if it's rained, it probably wouldn't be drivable by most vehicles. But we made it to this beautiful little creek. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I mean, look how clear this friggin' water is. I don't know if this, if this is a hot creek, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's warm. Wow. I mean, it wasn't warm enough for me to soak in today. Well, right now it's about, mm, I think it's like in the low 70s right now because it's getting towards evening. Actually, it's after 7 p.m. So, you know, during the heat of the day, it would be a perfect soak. But I'm guessing, my GPS said I had another third of a mile to go. So I think if we keep hiking, well, we gotta cross this little sketchy bridge. And then if we keep hiking along, up yonder, uh, way in the distance, my sister is standing there. I think that's where the official hot spring is. So let's hike over and see how hot that is. This bridge is pretty rickety. It's an old board and an old pallet, yikes. Oh my gosh. Woo, we made it. I mean, you can see there where the road actually does continue on and goes right through the creek, but then it gets into this real gnarly, mog, uh, muddy bog. I mean, I suppose I, I, you know what, to be honest, I could have driven through that and come around the side and up here. So, huh, who knows? I might end up moving my car, but let's go see what's at the actual hot spring. Okay, wow, so I hiked up all the way along the creek and it comes to this kind of like really beautiful waterfall thing over these algae covered stair steps. Look at that, that cool old bridge going across it. But my sister just texted me. She's still a little bit farther ahead. She said she's at the hot spring and there's people there soaking and they drove there in their cars. So I'm guessing it's perfectly fine for me to drive through that creek and go up and take a soak. Unfortunately, I might not be able to shoot a video because they're probably not wearing any clothes. So, I'll do what I can. Oh my heck. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am in Mormon country, so oh my heck. Anyways, those hot springs were amazing. There's two cars there. One looked like a Hispanic family that was just there for the day. They were drinking beer, hanging out. Um, and then one other car looked to be a kind of a hippie dude from New Mexico. So they both had SUVs and they apparently drove down there just fine. So I ran back and I'm gonna get my car and I'm gonna drive the rest of the way and see if I can find a place to park that's level enough to camp overnight. Okay, awesome. The family that was soaking here left. So there's just that one other hippie kind of looking guy and he's probably pretty cool. Actually, he is cool, we just talked to him. So I went ahead and just drove across the creek again and we're gonna set up camp over here on this side, but I can't really, I probably won't be able to shoot much more footage tonight because we need to go, I need to go gather firewood uh, so that we can cook our favorite camping meal, frito pie. Mm, I'm starving. I've been running around exploring a ghost town all day and I need some food. So I'm going to do that and I'll probably go for a soak before bed, but I probably won't shoot any footage of the hot spring until the morning. Check out this fire ring we built with extra fire safety in mind. We stacked up rocks pretty high all around it and used a shovel to dig it out. So we are not going to spread any sparks to this parched landscape behind us.
All right, it's the next morning and we're in luck. Everyone else left this hot spring so I can show you what it looks like. It's super early in the morning. It's just amazing. So there's where my sister and I camped last night. The only downside to camping here is there's only three spots to really camp. There's a level spot there. When I say level, I mean level-ish. There, and then there's one there, but none of them are really level. So I was kind of huh, rolling downhill all night to one side, but hey, it's a small price to pay for camping at this friggin' amazing place. I mean, look at how gorgeous this is. Up the canyon behind me, the creek comes, I don't even know where this creek comes down from, but it's, God, the source must be up the canyon. It's hot by the time it comes down here. So hot that this entire, and look how big this pool is behind me. All of that is hot enough to soak in. It's amazing. The only downside is somebody that was soaking here yesterday told us there were snakes in the water. <laughs> and then when my sister and I were looking around for a place to camp, <laughs> when we were scouting out over there, there's like five snake skins on the hillside. It's freaky. Like five snakes shed their skin all in one area. It looks terrifying. I'll show you guys that later. But first, I want to get in here and go for a soak. I mean, look how clear this water is. Almost looks like there might be a source up there too. You can kind of see where there's bubbles coming out of the side of the hillside there. And look at, I don't know if you can see the steam coming off the top. Ugh, oh, absolutely beautiful place. There's a creek coming down. Little waterfall. Oh man. So amazing. Okay, well, the only problem is I like to soak au natural, and YouTube doesn't like that. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with my cropping here. But it's time to take a bath. Much better. <laughs> Oh yeah. So nice and hot. Mmm. This is amazing. This water is probably... I think I do have a thermometer in my car so I can measure this later. But I would guess it's at least 103. It's pretty hot. It feels friggin' awesome. Especially considering the surroundings. I mean, look. <laughs> wow. No snakes so far. I brought my coffee down here, so it's time for breakfast. The best way to enjoy your morning coffee is in a beautiful, natural, hot spring. Man, I wish I didn't have to be so weird about only shooting my face. Like, hopefully someday people won't be so weirded out by nudity, you know? I mean, really, <laughs> is the world gonna collapse because some naked ding-dong is taking a bath on YouTube? <laughs> okay, so I walked all the way to the far end of the hot spring, and now I'm looking back down towards where I got in. So it's a little quieter down at this end because you're not right by that waterfall on the creek. And gosh, it looks like there's some concrete ruins here. Maybe there used to be some kind of actual pool built. Because I know there's a ghost town nearby here that my sister and I visited, oh gosh, yesterday. And I think when I was reading up on that ghost town, it said the people who lived there back in the day used to come hang out here. Okay, so my understanding is there's some hot creek that just flows down from the mountains back there and that's what's coming down here and the waterfall because that is a hot creek but there's also another looks like there's another source here on the side of the pool you can see there it looks like hot water is bubbling out from the side there so there must be multiple sources for this amazing spring oh i gotta be careful my sister just got up and now she's getting in here naked too oh god two things to worry about but look how look at the bottom the water's real clear the bottom is rocky, so it's not like super comfortable to walk on, but it feels very clean. You know, it's not mucky and there's not a ton of algae like at other hot springs. It's, and it doesn't smell sulfury at all. This is actually a 
This is actually a super friggin' awesome hot spring. Ooh. Ooh, that was a great morning soak, man. I sat in that hot spring way too long drinking coffee. But it was so relaxing, especially with the sound of the waterfall and the sound of the butterflies and bees buzzing around and all these beautiful sunflowers. But I figured I might as well get out because there's so much other stuff to explore here. I mean, this canyon, or ravine, I guess, is absolutely spectacular. And this road that goes through the hot spring actually continues on up the ravine, so no telling what's up there. So do a little exploring later today. But look at how beautiful this creek is. I mean, doesn't that look like something out of a friggin' Thomas Kincaid painting or something? Look, it's so clear. Flowers, butterflies, bees, buzzing, dragonflies. It reminds me of that Pink Floyd song. I think it's called Grantchester Meadows. <laughs> it's just like this hippy dippy acoustic guitar with him talking about the kingfisher flowing through the grass. That's not how it goes, but oh, if you know that song, you know what I mean. Okay, luckily I never did see any snakes while I was soaking in there, so. That's a plus, but I thought I would come over here because I don't know if you remember, I told you last night, my sister and I found a bunch of snake skins on the hillside over here, and it's really creepy. I mean, if you look at this hillside, it's rattlesnake country for sure. Gotta be real careful out here. It's evidenced by what you're about to see. If you're afraid of snakes, you might not want to watch this part. It's real creepy. Look, there's one, actually there's two there. See, one, two. And then up there, there's three, four, and they're all kind of coming out of this hole here, which is really terrifying. Like, what is that, a snake pit? I kind of want to pull them out, but I'm afraid if I pull them out, a real snake will come out. Yikers. <laughs> What's interesting too is that I found this weird little seashell down by those snake skins. Like, how the heck did this thing end up? And it was right by uh, the hole there where all the snakes are coming out of. So. Phew. I'm not sure what's going on, but I really feel like I want one of these snake skins, so I got a stick. I'm gonna try to get one. <sighs> I'm pretty sure these guys are long gone, but just in case, look at this thing. It's so cool, a whole snake skin. I wanna get the head. It's almost like their heads were stuck in the hole. Look, they won't come out. And if I pull on it, it'll tear. You know, I don't want to pull too hard. It's very delicate, it'll rip. See, oh man, sorry snake skin. Uh, yikers, maybe I better just get away from this thing. That was friggin' creepy. I'm gonna walk down this little road a little ways, just take a morning walk. Oh, I should have brought my coffee with me. I left it on a rock back there, that's ah, okay. We'll go for a quick little morning walk and see what's up this road a bit. Beautiful summer morning. I mean, oh, look at this friggin' place. It's like the Garden of Eden. I love these beautiful blue dragonflies buzzing around. These friggin' awesome giant thistles, sunflowers, and it smells really good in a weird way. It actually smells kind of like cow poop because I think this is open rangeland. So surprisingly, the hot springs are very clean. There's no cow poo in there, but I think there might be in the river upstream from the spring, so you definitely wouldn't want to drink this water. But I don't know, it still smells kind of, just a very faint tinge of cow poo and combined with the flowers and everything else, oh, it's just friggin' awesome. Nothing like a morning walk in your bathrobe in a beautiful, beautiful ravine. Okay, wow, this road just keeps going and going and going, winding through that canyon, so I don't want to walk too far because actually I need to go back to my car and do some work. I need to edit, well, it's fun work. I'm gonna edit a video about another hot spring I went to the other day, so. I feel like the responsible thing to do is explore this road later. All right, well, unfortunately, it's time for me to leave this beautiful hot spring. I hung out in my car for a few hours working on some video projects, but it's pretty hot and there's, there's no shade here and there were a lot of mosquitoes, so it was a little bit annoying, but overall, you know, 
I could have handled it and I easily could have stayed here a second night. But there's another hot spring not too far away that I also want to go check out. So we've loaded up the adventure mobile and we're headed off to the next adventure. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.